and I just use a clicker and do it to I've got to set it 23 This isn't easy by one hand. Okay. Then rotate it by hand again because it's really, for everything to work properly, it wants to torque on the blade, tension on the blade. Okay. And now I'm looking at got more overhang here than I had a moment ago so these are the things you have to keep going over I'm going to readjust that all right so that seems to be about right that probably happened because I didn't have the torque set on the blade it's probably at like 10 pounds not 25 so I hope that was helpful helped me a little bit Stakes and all. So this, I just have it. See, I can turn that by hand. Well, I'm going to have to correct that and snug it up because it tightened itself up and restricted the water flow, overheated the band. And then apparently that warped because I started getting these wavy cuts. So now I'm putting in a new blade. And this is about 10 thou on each side with a piece of paper, usually around five. Okay. And you'll need a sharp pointy thing to get these Allen heads cleaned up. I can't get an Allen head in there. Now I can. I do that. Um, I'm using a torque wrench. I don't trust their three turn method because my definition of quote snug is different than Woodland's. And I broke two bands doing what I call snug, which is just taking the slack off. And then three hard turns, which has probably turned out to be around 35 pounds. Anyhow, this is where we are. You need a sharp pointy thing to clear out these Allen heads. A piece of paper or a feeler gauge and a 13 millimeter for up here. Okay, so I'll put a photograph in And that 40 mil is at the back. Okay, not at the front. You see the red thing there? That's measuring the back. Right here it's saying 020 for the guide on the blade. This is the correct. But over here, it's not. And I've rotated it a few times and it's not coming forward. So that's what we have to do right there. So the one on the left, it was already loose. So that wasn't my fault. <laughs> we'll make an adjustment now. I made too many turns, but um, to See if you're adjusting properly, you need to rotate the wheel at the same time. So I was made a few turns with the nut and didn't turn the wheel. So turn the wheel and make an adjustment at the same time. Alright, so I'm getting closer. Follow the instructions. Okay. And I'll proceed. See that wavy cuts? That's what I had. So I lost water flow, band overheat, that nut was loose, it controls this motion here, okay, this position. So this blade wound up 
closer to the green wall back here. Whoop. Okay, so this I'm going to call good. So I'm going to adjust this to the one we just saw. As in seam, not as in cut. So. Just saw that. Um, I think that's from overheating because the band was stuck onto this surface um, for about an inch or so in one area. I'm guessing it was that I had to sort of not pry but lift it off because it had a sticky relationship. So I think I'm going to have to replace that, but not today. So, patience is a virtue, but I haven't got the time. Oops, and be careful holding something like this, because any slight movement can make that bubble move. So I'm pretty close to center bubble. Okay, this is the dry side. I had to adjust it as well. So it now matches this, and both to me now match. The manual, that is, you got that slight amount of overhang, right? The bare, unsharp, go here, right? And you see a little bit of the flat part of the blade back there. And that's what you see here, and that's what the manual shows. So what's happening is I'm cutting these small pieces of black walnut, and they don't want to stand still, and it's just me. So they tend to move, and sometimes when things move, they go slam, bam, into here, and then this moves in. So I've had that happen a few times. So that doesn't help, of course. Then that nut being loose on the back side of this wheel, that didn't help. Having the water stop flowing didn't help. So hopefully we've got all of those repaired and we're ready to cut some wood. Yeah. What I mean by small pieces is something like that. So that was, I cut like eight pieces off of this, but it was standing up, so I'm trying to go across here. Well, it doesn't want to work that way. I'm not going to get into how I got it done, but I won't be doing it again. And then you've got small pieces like uh, this up here. Okay, now I'm going to try and, I'm not going to do that today, but I'm going to try and put small stuff on there and I'm going to cut it and it's going to want to dance around so it's really a two-man job I'm sure that's good flow so I'll lock that into place it won't be as loose as it was before it was rotated on its own just through the vibration you'll see as I turn it that it's much quieter now got all the little ups and downs out of these adjustments so 20 in here 40 on the back which i'm not even going to bother with right now